Hey, it's Ray from SoyChicha.com and today we are going to talk about this. This is the new Honor Magic Book 15 that was recently released here in Malaysia. And if you guys know Honor, you know that they are known for making affordable devices and this is no exception. So after spending two weeks with the Honor Magic Book 15, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the laptop and let me tell you why. Let's start off this review with the display. The Honor Magic Book here gets a 15.6 inch IPS Full HD Plus display and the panel now comes with a 100% sRGB high gamut display. I've recently been using the M1 MacBook Pro and I thought it would be interesting to compare the displays between the two since the price gap is pretty huge and MacBooks have always been known to have really good screens. And to my surprise, the difference between the two screens is actually not too far off. To my eyes, even when I put them both side by side, I didn't really notice a big difference. The colour of the Magic Book screen is sharp and vibrant and has good viewing angles. But if I have to pick one, I'll say that the MacBook Pro has a slightly better display. Maybe a bit more saturated in terms of its colours, but for what I need in a laptop screen, I think the difference is actually very minimal. The build of the laptop is actually pretty good too. The Magic Book 15 comes with a matte aluminium chassis which is also one of the reasons why the laptop feels solid and sturdy. The laptop weighs 1.57kg which is not bad for its class and it has a light blue chamfer at the sides and the Honor logo also has the same blue treatment which adds a bit of oomph to it. That means the overall looks of the laptop is not so boring lah. You also get a pretty large track pack on the Magic Book 15 but I don't really enjoy using it as much as I do on the MacBook Pro. It's not responsive and it takes a lot of effort to actually click on the trackpad. I don't know exactly what material is used to make the trackpad but I think it's plastic so that is probably why it doesn't feel as nice. And I know the MacBook Pro's trackpad is considered to be the benchmark but even my previous ThinkPad feels nicer than Magic Book 15. The keyboard isn't that great either. I find the chiclet keys a little too mushy for my liking and the overall typing and clicking experience isn't really pleasant. However, there isn't too much wobble with the keys so that's a plus. And if you guys know me, you know that I always play Dota and you know how frustrating it is when you miss your skills. Since there is not much travel on this keyboard, I can't really feel when the key actuates. And sometimes, even though I thought I've used my skills, but in actual fact, I did not. Or maybe because I'm bad, who knows. Oh, and the keyboard isn't backlit either, so that's a bummer for something over 3000 ringgit. Unfortunately, like the previous Honor Magic Book, it has the pop-up webcam that's hidden on the function row, which I'm not a fan of. I personally think that the camera angle is awkward for video calls. You have to look down and your friends will probably stare up your nostrils the whole time. But on the bright side, the bezels of the laptop is super thin and you'll get this really nice viewing experience. It also comes with a power button at the top right corner which doubles as a fingerprint scanner for you to unlock your device. So unlike other laptops, you get a ton of connectivity ports on the Magic Book 15. On the right, there's a USB Type-A port with USB 2.0 support and a 3.5mm headphone jack slot. On the left, you'll find a HDMI port, a USB Type-A port and a USB Type-C port which is used for charging. So if you guys watched the video of me talking about the MacBook Pro, you know that I rely on an external drive when I'm editing videos. And because there are barely any ports, I needed a dongle to connect my external drive, my mouse and also charge the MacBook Pro at the same time. Since the Magic Book 15 has a good selection of ports, I thought I wouldn't need a dongle. After all, I can plug my mouse, keyboard and even a display directly into a laptop. But when I wanted to edit videos from my external drive, I ran into a problem. There is only one USB-C port and I need that for charging. So that means I still have to use a dongle when I'm editing from that external drive. I would definitely like an extra USB-C port and I would even give up a USB-A port just to have it. After all, USB-C is the future. Besides that, you also get two bottom firing speakers with Dolby Atmos on the Magic Book 15. Since the speakers are at the bottom, you will get the best results on flat surfaces, for example, on a wooden table. The speakers can get really loud and the sound is pretty rich without being distorted at higher volumes. So watching videos and listening to music on this laptop should be pleasant. But if you are someone who likes to watch Netflix on your bed, you will get the worst audio quality right there. That is because your speakers are placed on top of a soft surface and that will cause your speakers to muffle. Okay, so now let's talk about its performance. It is actually pretty good for the price that you are paying. 
You are getting an 11 Gen Intel Core i5 processor with Iris Xe graphics. You also get 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM and 512 gigs of SSD storage. For daily tasks like watching videos, light photo editing on Photoshop and some internet browsing with multiple tabs open at once, the Magic Book 15 was able to keep up with everything. I can even edit 1080p videos on the laptop without any major problems too. But when the video project gets heavy, let's just say if you're editing on a 4K timeline, it'll get a bit laggy. But then again, even the M1 MacBook Pro I was using before struggled with 4K edits. As for gaming, I tried games like Stardew Valley, Left 4 Dead 2 and also Dota. And I have to say, gaming with this laptop is actually pretty good. But it does get a bit hot when you play games, especially if you charge the laptop while you're playing. The good news is, even though the laptop gets hot, there isn't any visible thermal throttling which is a good sign. Personally, I don't own or play any AAA games so I can't tell you how the overall experience will be. But based on the specs and the lack of discrete GPU, it is definitely not designed for that kind of gaming. Battery life of this laptop is also below average I'll say. When I'm not running any intensive apps like if I'm replying to an email or watching videos on YouTube, the Magic Book 15 can last me around 5-6 to six hours. But on a busy day, the Magic Book 15 can last around 2 hours. So most of the time, I do video editing, edit pictures on Photoshop and have multiple Google Chrome tabs running in the background. Playing games on the laptop also gives me around 1-2 to two hours of screen time. Okay, so is the Honor Magic Book 15 for you? If you look past that it has a mushy keyboard and a not so responsive trackpad, I think that the Magic Book 15 is actually not a bad choice for its price. For 3,699 ringgit, this laptop here has a really nice display, good speakers and the overall performance is actually not too shabby. However, if you're someone who plays graphically intense game or if you want to edit on a 4K timeline, this isn't it. Instead, you can get something like the Acer Nitro 5. It is priced around the same as the Magic Book 15, but you'll get a dedicated NVIDIA GTX 1650 graphics card. But the trade-off is the Nitro 5 is heavier at over 2kg, much thicker and it doesn't look as grown up as the Magic Book 15. So if you're planning to get this laptop for work, watching content, web browsing or maybe a little editing, this isn't a bad device. Plus, it has excellent build and the overall look of the Magic Book 15 is nice and clean which is something that I like. Okay, so that's it for my review of the Honor Magic Book 15. So if you have any questions or any comments you want to let me know, remember to put them down in the comment section below. Okay, so that's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like our video if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and also click on the notification bell icon so you won't miss any of our future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!